Legend of Total War here with part uh, 7 of my historical battle series for Rome 2. Previously we did the Battle of Teutoburg Forest, and even though we did it on Legendary Difficulty, didn't receive a star. Don't know why. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, I'm going to do the Battle of Carthago next on Legendary. Now, there's been a few changes to this battle since the last time I played it, which, in a way, very much annoy me because, like... They put you in firing line of the enemy fucking artillery, like, immediately. So, when it comes to a siege, I know what Creative Assembly is trying to do here. They, they want you to, they want to force you to try and rush in. But rushing in is the stupidest thing you can do. So we're going to pull, try and get out of range, and then come at this a bit more intelligently. Carthage have been subjugated by Rome since the conclusion of the Second Punic War. For 50 years, Carthage paid a crippling indemnity and submitted to Roman authority. By 151 BC, the debt was paid. However, Rome had her eye on Carthage's territory, and excuses were found to resume hostilities. Carthage found itself under siege but resisted Rome's attacks for two years. In 147 BC, Rome sent the popular young commander, Scipio Aemilianus, to end the war once and for all. All right, so first thing we gotta do, grab all these guys, just move them back. The attack begins. Carthage falls today. Get off this, just move back. As much as we can. Because the way they've set things up, for you is to, oh yeah quick run under attack rush no that is not the way to do these battles especially on legendary difficulty you've got to have patience like I don't need this just get off the, off the thing yeah just get back I think the enemy artillery is firing at us it might actually be a good idea to leave these guys here and really Loose formation, sort of, and just let let them let them target the triari there, which is, you know, it's it's a shame, but I mean maybe I should have left the hastadi, but whatever, I've already committed to it. Harder to play dodge and rocks with um with um heavy onagers because they're uh. Much less accurate. You can use the accuracy against them in most cases. Okay, so yeah. If we can get them to just waste their ammo, that would be ideal. And I believe that's what I did last time. They used to have the Onigas all the way back here. Obviously, they've, they've done that to, to make things more difficult. I get that, that's fine. But we don't... We, the, the trick is, don't ever fucking do what Creative Assembly sets you up to do. They love to fucking trick you. Especially on Legendary Difficulty. Like, you can get, rid, you can get through it on Normal Difficulty. Because obviously, they, I think they copped a lot of um, heat about Legendary Difficulty being too easy. And Creative Assembly, when they're cri criticized about something, they have to go in the opposite direction. Oh, it's too easy? Well, why don't we go and make it way too fucking hard for you complainers? And that's exactly what they did. But it's not impossible. Impossible to do this. Okay, so yeah, just they're not hidden, are they? No, they're still getting shot. They'll they'll lose some men, but it's all right. Okay, so we need to th we need to be very we need to look at what we're up against here and make a judgment call. It doesn't matter if this takes two hours. What does it matter if we if we do this battle in fifteen minutes and and lose ninety nine percent of our men as opposed to take two hours and lose. 70% of our men, you know, that's technically a better result. I know some people, they love to see, you know, epic battles and rush battles, but seriously, I want those people to leave me alone, because it's just not the way you're supposed to do battles. A siege like this would, t would have taken months, not 15 minutes. Okay, so, we have to think about the path we're going to take to get inside. So yeah, those onagers are going to keep shooting, and that's fine. Are they hitting their own walls by any chance? No. Doesn't matter if the siege tower gets gets destroyed. I don't really want to go up on the walls anyway. Not yet, anyway. Oh, 
Ah, oh, you've got to be fucking kidding. They're they're hitting this guy as well. Um, this is it's just Hastati, so line him up, let him die, sort of. We'll try and play dodge and rocks, maybe. So I'm gonna set up a bunch of orders here, and just hopefully he can dodge them. Because I'm trying to think of other things at the moment. Main thing is we've got to see where we're going to get here because if they they waste their ammo, am ammunition is very important with these battles. Um, it's it's sometimes more important than men because it's so limited. Um, if they waste all their ammunition and barely kill off one unit, that's great because we can then use our ammunition patiently and effectively to wipe out more of their units or destroy fortifications that would be more useful to them. But there is no obvious approach to this, like it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't say, okay, this is the weak point here. There is no real weak point. This is a difficult settlement to assault. You're not hidden, are you? Yeah, come up front and just um, suck it up. This guy here seems to have sucked up the majority of their ammo from, from that one. And if we're going to lose anything, might as well lose Hastati, which, which are of fairly low value to us. Okay, you're getting shot, you need to get out of there. No shots have landed yet. Try and get the Triari to, to waste their shots. So that's pretty good there, we didn't take a single hit, and we wasted about 8 of their shots. You should stay over here as well, you're an easier target. You should get into loose formation. Alright, uh, so we've got, you know, our own heavy onagers, but, you know, they don't have unlimited ammunition. If we have to decide whether or not we want to destroy fortification, or whether or not we want to, um get inside. Now I'd say that this point here this point here is probably the weakest point because there's only one tower. If we got rid of that or captured it, I don't think we're going to be able to capture that too easily, not when it's this well this well manned. We have to keep in mind that Carthage massively outnumbers us. Our best troops are still out in the water here. Oh, we've just got heaps of Triari and I don't like Triari. I really don't. They're just on legendary difficulty, they they just don't have the killing power that they need. I'd rather Principes. Like I don't care about melee defense that much. All right, so I want to use up this artillery first because you know obviously we can only. Yeah, I think we will attack from this angle. I'll keep him there. Let him keep getting shot. All right. Now, yeah, you want to be on flaming shot. It, even though it's less accurate, it will do more damage. Okay, maybe maybe you should go on standard shot. I don't know. I'm going to blow up this section here. Hard to tell how much ammunition they've got. No, they're still shooting. Alright, let's see. You guys need to start coming in closer. We can hit them from here, but the thing is, the closer we get, the more accurate we'll be. Or we can start shooting it ourselves to be even more accurate. Because every shot fucking counts. Remember what I've said about in regard to these battles. Some people think that micro is everything, but in all honesty, this kind of battle here, micromanagement not required. You you just need to have a patient mind, and you just need to know when. To, sometimes when to strike is more important than how. Good, so that's accurately destroying the section of wall here. This will give us an in. This section here looks like a death trap. Yeah, they've barely killed any of them there. Alright. 
So this tower will need to be destroyed, obviously. If these guys could, you know, actually get organized, I could start using them. Now, siege towers used to have ballistas manned on them. Yeah, they they do. I don't know. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Okay, I want you to go man man that siege tower. Because if I can use the the ballista up here to to sh is it still active? No, it's been destroyed. These ones here, they're trying to shoot, but they're so close to the uh, the wall, they can't get it. They can't get it over. That's a problem. Heavy on go. All right. So now it's been a while since I've done it this way. Let's get flaming shot. What's this? Poison round. That's new. Mm. Does it use up a different type of ammo? I don't know. I, I don't. I don't really care. Aiming this shit can be really difficult sometimes. It just doesn't let you hit the required target. If they made it better in Total War Attila, that's for sure. And even better in Warhammer. Let's get a bit closer. But this is this is this is not my favourite battle to do, just because of the way they've set this up. They've set you up to fail. Which, you know, makes sense. It's just it's just a frustrating fucking battle to do. See, what you want is that line to go through it, but it, it just won't. See, I way overshot that. It's a wasted shot. Okay, yeah. Aiming these manually just doesn't work. Alright, we want to get rid of this tower because I don't trust it. I'm going to be able to capture it. And it will do a lot of damage to me. That being said, if I destroy this tower, it'll also kill a lot of the men around here, which, that's obviously really good. Some of our shots might actually hit their heavy onaga here. So yeah, in case you're wondering why I'm not using flaming shot, flaming shot's very inaccurate. So even though it does slightly more damage, I, f I do tend to find that standard shot, overall, requires less ammunition to get this stuff down. That's going to come down very soon and they're, they're all going to die. That's another good thing about taking on a corner piece, you can get a lot of them on the wall. Good job. Okay, that used up the majority of its ammunition though. Shouldn't be any need to, to make multiple breaches. Because I don't think they've got pikemen in the area. Do we have unlimited ammo? Because if we've got um, unlimited ammo, that's an entirely different story. Because it hasn't used up any of its ammo yet. Huh. Well, alright then. Let's just, let's just bomb the whole fucking area. I 
I mean, the ship definitely doesn't have unlimited ammo, but... I didn't know we had unlimited. Here I am trying to be conservative. I'll just bomb, I'll just destroy fucking everything. It definitely didn't used to be like that. Maybe, maybe there's certain areas in where you get unlimited ammo. Because I know in the Battle of Elysia, everyone's got unlimited ammo. If these guys here have unlimited ammo, that'll be so useful. How the fuck did you get hit? I don't stand back. Yeah, there are shots hitting us from back here. Just get further back. Why aren't they hitting this here? This is this is what you want to be hitting. I should have used those guys there. They're, they're going to be useless to me. Oh, it's not like these guys took heaps of damage. So yeah, I'm just going to focus on destroying pretty much every section I possibly can. Just really open this up for us. Good, they're still just aiming for him. Alright. If I could... If I could get you to try and destroy that Onager, that would be good. If you could hit it. I won't be able to aim it manually, but since we seem to have unlimited ammunition... Doesn't matter if it takes us 100, sh 100 shots, just um, get to it. It doesn't matter at all about the condition that we leave the, the settlement in. Yeah, we seem to have unlimited ammo. Okay, that, if that's the case, that makes it so much easier. This becomes just just, just use the artillery. Hey, if they if they if they're gonna give you the tools to do it, use it. Looks like two of, the, looks like three of the onagers aren't manned. So yeah, if you destroy that one there, then that's an entire onager used up. But it could be, you know, they have unlimited ammo as well. I did see a shot land on it. But these heavy onagers, I guess they. They take a bit of punishing to get rid of. See, all these guys are up on the wall here. Perfect to just, you know, just use our ammo to kill them. Alright, good, that one's down. So they've still got Onagers, but at least at least that's gone. Okay, we should be able to outrange Carthaginian Scorpions. Yeah, I'm just going to use the Onagers for the first part of this. Just bomb the fuck out of the settlement. I mean, historically the Romans burnt Carthage to the ground and like sowed salt in the field. And it wasn't until Julius Caesar did they actually restore the settlement. You know, obviously in their own... For their own powers. They didn't give it back to the Carthaginians. Okay, looks like they're just going to keep shifting up and down off the wall, which is fine, because I just want to keep blowing them up. That works for me. Three kills. Late Carthaginian hoplites. Good, if we can kill those, 
you know, th that's that's something that we would really struggle against in melee. This could actually be quite easy. Just thanks to unlimited ammo. Because, like I said, ammunition was precious. And if it's no longer precious, then bombs away. And these guys went so goddamn slow. Oh, that's alright. The thing is, doing it this way might actually be faster than going into melee because we can kill them huge numbers at a time. Come on, just one more. I wonder if these guys here will die. I wonder why it's not getting destroyed. Okay, why don't we start destroying in another section? And we'll just we'll come back to that one later. There we go. I was wondering what was going on with that. Could definitely see a few guys get killed. Alright, we want to move in a little bit closer now. Because of the restrict camera. I want to be able to see what I'm shooting. Now it could simply be that we don't have unlimited ammunition, we've just got heaps. But as far as I'm concerned, these guys have already done their worth. So let's just keep using it. If we if we blow up this section here, then they're all trapped on the walls. Which is perfect. I mean, it'd be great to trap them all on the walls. Because all we have to do, really, is, is capture... Do we have to capture two or three of the, um, the victory points? Pretty sure we only have to capture two. I can't remember. So this guy here is getting shot by enemy artillery, I think. Okay, if we've got unlimited ammo, then fuck it, let's just use flammable, flammable rounds. See if it helps. But I do know, because you can see here, it has reduced accuracy, increased reload time, so it might actually be faster to use standard rounds. Well, let's just see. See, not too many of those shots hit. I'm going to blow up this section here as well. Keep them all trapped on the walls. This, this here will have to be defeated. We'll have to bomb them somehow. It'd be good if there is a double standard in our favor where they've run out of ammo and we can just keep shooting. This, this will force them to completely abandon the walls. The more men they commit to the walls, the the more we can kill. Alright, let's speed things up a little bit. Otherwise this is going to take forever. But th this here has the... Oh, hang on a second here. Are we starting to run low now? Now we're starting to run out of ammo. Okay, so we didn't have unlimited, we just had fuck tons of it. That's okay. I'm still happy with what we've done here. This guy this guy's shot less, that's why he's still got hundred percent, technically. Okay, all of these guys are trapped on the walls, but we gotta get rid of these archers here, so you'll have to destroy this. And then these guys here, they can just be left on the wall, it doesn't matter, because they can't get down off it now. So yeah, we don't have unlimited ammo. Fair enough. That would make things way too easy. Alright, um... We could go and dock over here, but I'm not sure... Oh, there's onagers there. Heavy onagers. They've got a lot of those fucking onagers. I only wanted to destroy this section here.
Because we've got to get rid of these archers, or else, you know, we can't get them, but they can get us. Well, it looks like they're all just going to die anyway. Alright, uh, what are we going to do after this? I mean, there's a lot of guys up here. If we could bomb... A lot of cavalry up this way. It's not so hard to deal with. Yeah, there's, there's fuck all up here. We don't need to worry about that. But we got rid of all of that. So yeah, they've got loads of kills. It's not Some of them aren't really counted towards their kills. Alright, now what are we going to do? Okay, now it's time to... I'm going to dock. Get these guys to, to land here. We're going to go in together. What are these? It's all just fucking Triari. Oh well, if that's what we've got, then that's what we'll have to make use of. Alright, first things first. What have we got around here? Carthaginian Scorpion. Alright, let's get the dogs to go and sort them out. Do we have any Principes at all? No, all we got is Hastati. God damn it. Hastati aren't gonna perform for shit. So yeah, we just unleash the dogs, let them take out all their light light units. Alright, let's let's start getting our guys in here. I think these guys are getting shot. Probably by the um the scorpions. They're not gonna do much damage, it's fine. Can't tell how much damage has been done to any of them individually. Okay, the range let's last to there. We could start bombing here, I suppose, because you know, just thinking about killing troops. We've got limited ammunition on this guy, but this guy seems to still have heaps. Since you're out of ammunition, you might as well disembark. It says taking fire, but we're not taking any damage. I saw shots coming in over here. Yeah, it's from, from like, from these scorpions. They're fixed scorpions, right, well. That's why we gotta get in there, just send the... Send the dogs in, they'll get in there really quickly and kill them. Because they're not gonna be of any use to us against, um... Against hoplites. Hoplites are too heavy. These guys are really good at taking out lighter cavalry. to release there. Now it's for you, just um, stay by here. I, I should be safe here. I can't control them now. But I can I can watch what they do. So still got 76 dogs. But they're not good. Already one of them's died. And they've they're doing okay. Don't expect much out of dogs. And you'll never be disappointed. Okay, I need to reorganize this. There we go. Okay, so everyone except for him can stand over here. One of the guys are in loose formation. 
you. Okay, well that's one one load of um, them gone. Now what are you gonna do? I want you to take them out. Ah, oh, fuck me. They're trying to actually destroy the uh, the scorpion itself. Alright, well, there's more fixed artillery over here that needs to be destroyed. So we've got Libyan infantry. The Libyan infantry, we're just going to mop them up. Oh, no, 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 no. Get back. Now, we could shoot them, but I feel like that would be a waste of ammo. It's just not going to hit quite as hard as if we would have hit over here. Bomb those onagers. Most of the units over here are fairly light. I wish I could command them and tell them to go, you know, fight something else. There's still apparently one man. That's why they haven't moved on. But I don't know where he is. They can't get off the wall, don't worry about them. Libyan infantry are really good. Bombing them would certainly help us. Just trying to think if there's any other way I could go about this. Because the Libyan infantry would really cause a lot of damage to my... Um, hey, you should just abandon that. Come over here. Yeah, my Triarii aren't going to perform too well against these guys. It looks like they're a bit tired. They must have run around a little bit. Alright, I'm going to do something... Which I might regret. I'm going to bomb this area here. Just once. I killed a handful of them. Okay, he's starting to lose ammunition now. We've only got a few shots left. We've got to make him count. What? You're about to get killed. You should get back. Let's see if my dogs actually attack their pikemen. Looks like they're attacking them. Yeah, they're getting a few kills here and there. Where are they going? So they brought... The, I guess the units that were over here have now come over this way a bit more. Because they don't need to defend this because I'm not attacking it. That's okay. So... The dogs... Got 26 kills. All right, what are we going to do about these Libyan Peltists? Get the fuck out of there. Actually, no, no. no. Send, the, um, send the dogs in. Peltists, they should do alright against um, the Peltists. Yeah, it looks like it. My dogs are still active over here. Somewhat. So I'm still just trying to th look for good moments to attack. Because now that we know that we do have limited ammunition. And I could bomb that. The thing is, these are all fairly low value units. If I just hit the Hastati, and the Hastati could kick their ass. So maybe I'll get them set up. Problem is of all this, all this shit in the way here. Because we've got three breaches here that we can make use of. And the dogs are still active. 
it's I think it's important to let them just finish what they're doing and then then we'll see okay my equity battalion over here because they could take out those Libyan pelters just fine if they come out on their own but they're also sending out late Libyan hoplites So yeah, the dogs, they did alright. They've still got 39. Uh, they're getting killed really quite quickly now. Um, they've still got 14 left. They're not in combat though. I don't know where the dogs have gone. No, they're still here just doing nothing. They're just trying to kill the... something. I have no idea what they're doing. This is just a mess. African pikemen. Okay, pikemen need to be shot. Let's get one of our villages over here and shoot them. We should be fine. I mean, there's no there's no archers in this area. Hopefully, these guys um, get essentially two loads of ammunition like these guys did. Still looking for good spots we can potentially bomb. If we came around this side here and bombed there, that could be okay. Again, just African pike with that. Now, we of course need to keep in mind one of these guys must have their ammunition preserved for when we have to go to the elephants. Do they have two loads of elephants or is it just one? I don't know, because it didn't show up on the, the loading screen. skirmish mode. Okay, Libyan pelt us up there, but we should be able to avoid their shots. These barricades here actually are actually a big old pain in the ass. Okay, don't fire it, Will. You do as I tell you. We don't even really need to shoot these guys in the flank, although they're on the high ground, so we should get a little bit closer. Good, they haven't used up any of their ammo yet. Good, so maybe we get two loads of it. So where it says ammunition 7, maybe it's actually more like 14. Or maybe it's unlimited, who knows. Whatever the case is, if it can wipe out this African pikeman, it'll be doing me a big favour, because attacking that head-on is going to be a pain in the ass. So it says we're being shot, oh yeah, by, by one guy over here, I wouldn't even worry about that. Let's move over here, maybe we'll get out of its range. These dogs are going to be a bit shit, they don't, they just don't really do what they're supposed to do, go around and kill shit. They perform better in Rome 1. Alright, good job, haven't used up any of our ammo yet. There's more over here. Could shoot them, but they're stuck there anyway, so not, not a concern. Actually, what about, what about over here? Oh, they're all over the place, though. Mm. Yeah, come over here instead. Now, what about these peltists? These, we've got to watch out. We can't get too close to these towers here. But it looks like these, these peltists here have been completely bugged out. It's good if they get to 160, they've they've done their worth essentially. No, 
He's sort of running out of ammo. I mean, if they're just going to stand there, maybe I'll come down here and shoot them, because... I don't know. We've got the ammo for it. But that's not all of them. Where the hell... Are they? Oh, they're all over the place. Oh shit, now they're firing back. I sort of reactivated them. We can beat them though. Because they're coming at us in, in like waves. Come on, come on, my abilities are fucking invincible. No, they're not. They're taking damage. Yeah, they're still bugged out. Just, I'll just leave them alone, maybe. I don't know what's going on with them. And we've still got full ammunition, so... No sense in not using it. Go right up. And shoot them. I do enjoy shooting units. Like, oh, here we go. We're running out of ammo. So yeah, we basically get two loads of ammo. That's okay, it's still worth it to get rid of these guys. These are strong units, and you cheap shit. Try and make every shot count, though. Get in just that little bit closer, it'll increase the amount of damage we do. Or increase the accuracy, whichever. Same thing, really. Still a lot of African pikemen around. Okay, they're back in a proper group. I'm gonna get some more guys over here. Okay, pretty happy with what they did there. 250 kills, that's no small amount, especially considering they were shooting at units that were higher value than theirs. Equities, you, yeah. I don't know how you're going to fight these guys with their battalion just being all over the place. But all you really need to do is shatter them. I'm just getting shot by something. It doesn't matter. Oh, by the towers. So yeah, just get rid of the, the Pelzas that are in this general area here. Don't go too close to these towers, because obviously I didn't destroy them. The thing is, it's all about the charge, and they didn't really get... It, it was impossible to get a good charge with them in that formation, but um, they're actually doing pretty well. Our general has no abilities. He's a pretty crap general. Okay, now I'm looking at this particular unit over here. If I can come and stand about here, I could shoot down at them. Well, there's these over here. Because, yeah, I definitely want to... It's better to shoot pikemen than attack them head on. Problem is that these these broken onagers could get in the way. I don't want them to actually cross into the city. Just stay within the rubble and shoot them. See, it's just like I said. A few shots are being shot into the um, the onagers, but that's okay. They're gone. Good job. Get back. Okay, definitely would like to kill them, but 
since they're moving, let's just wait until they stop. I don't particularly want to shoot over the rubble. I don't think they're going to be accurate enough. If they want to come and stand on the rubble, that works for me. More African pipemen. Fine with me. Come up here, bitches. I'm ready to shoot you. I can't shoot them from that angle. Okay, what I'm going to do... I'm going to blow up this section of wall here because these pelters here, I want them gone. Because that'll allow me to send these guys through here. Bit of a high use of ammo, but... If these guys just stand there, we might not even need to destroy it all completely, as long as this front section here gets destroyed, they all die. Okay, they didn't all die, so we need to keep shooting it. One more volley should do. Seems like this episode will just be the bombardment phase, and we'll begin the assault phase in the next episode of this particular siege. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. My guys are actually losing against them. Fucking cavalry can't even beat missile units. And yeah, shot on the retreat. Is a shit. Okay. What's what's this over here? That's it. So yeah, come and stand over here. Problem is these fucking onagers in the way. Alright. Get back over here and charge into them. Because it was all about the charge and they, they really didn't get a good charge on them. Let's just see no no, that's it. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I mean yeah, a few shots. To get wasted. I'll, just, I'll just, be wait, just wait for this to get done first. Because I don't want these guys coming back. They're going to give my villages a hard time. It's good that they're moving over here. Okay, get back out of the settlement. There we go. If we get the charge in on them, it's not so bad. But in melee, they just they fucking suck. Libyan pelters are quite good though. I think a scorpion shooting at us. Pinpoint accuracy, of course. So what's this over here? The late Carthaginian hoplites. Alright. Yeah, you can take out these African pikemen, that's easy. They're fucking lost. It was the only thing that I asked them to do, and they couldn't even take out one unit of missile units. Pathetic. Send you to go finish them off then. It's good that they're coming out here, so I can shoot them. Uh, what's going on here? They get poisoned or something. It, it doesn't matter. It's it's done. Abilities have to finish them off. Uh, they went back inside. Not a big deal. Where'd those other pikemen go? They're still here. 
Alright, we'll have to begin the attack soon. I'm just concerned about the amount of casualties we'll take when we go straight into melee. Which is why I just want to try and thin them out as much as possible first. Get a few pot shots on them. A few shots are being wasted, but not many. Okay, we'll just come back out of here in just a moment. We'll let him shoot one more volley. Okay, good. Now come out here. Because you got to give the time that the, uh, the guys that are in the back time to get out. They just made it there without getting hit. Okay, now we've started using up our ammo. So yeah, it seems like they've got like just 200% ammo, which I don't know why they gave us that, but I'm not going to complain about it. I'll help me win. Double time. Yeah, just keep moving back. There's no towers out here to worry about, so we can move around out this way. Because I don't want to get down on the low ground, that's all. It'll only take a few more volleys to get rid of them, because all we're going to do is shatter them. Rome is mother to us all. Should deal with them because there's only 30 left now. So they got 200 odd kills. It's pretty good considering, you know, mostly pikemen. A few peltists. That was a trap volley there. Okay, they're out of ammo. Then they got 239 kills. The other guys did a little bit better for 249 kills. That's still good. Alright then. So what do we got here? Late Carthaginian hoplites. Not looking forward to that, but I think it's time for the Hastati. Now, what I'm going to do with that, we're going to end the episode here. And get ready to do part two for, of this battle. So guys, like and subscribe. Part two of this particular battle is next, and we'll see you next time. Fuckers.